Hey guys, welcome back to All on Law. This is a medical video lecture. Medical video like medical video lecture. Microbiology, microbiology. Okay, guys. Microbiology. And today's topic of discussion is DNA viruses. DNA viruses. So before starting a discussion on this important topic, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and please do share our videos with your friends. So let's start a discussion. This is a really very important topic for USMLE Step 1 examination. So guys, DNA viruses, DNA viruses, let's classify them, let's know them very well. I'm not going to classify, I'm going to name them and I'm going to tell you DNA type. Okay guys. So first, we have total 6 important DNA viruses for USMLE Step 1 examination. That's a parovirus. Parovirus. Then we have papovirus. Papovirus. Then we have adeno adenoviruses then we have herpes okay then we have pox which is eradicated and hepedna okay guys hepedna Right now, parovirus is a single stranded DNA virus. So, we have two things in a DNA whether it's a single stranded or double stranded. So, it's a single stranded DNA virus, and the PEPOVA is double stranded DNA viruses, and they are circular. Okay, guys, and the adenovirus is a double stranded DNA again but it's a linear okay herpes virus are double stranded dna virus double stranded dna virus they are linear again okay guys pox if you forget this one is okay because it has been eradicated so you may not be getting any questions on this in in your usmd step on examination it's a double stranded dna Okay, linear one. And the hepedna is a hepatitis B, right? Yeah, double standard, partially double standard DNA and the circular. Okay, guys. So let's talk about this. A power virus, briefly I'm going to tell you. It's a naked virus. It's a naked, okay. Right? Yes. The three viruses that are naked, there's a Papova, Parvo, which is also naked, which is also naked, and Adeno, right? The herpes virus, pox virus, and hepedna are enveloped. E, I'm going to write this, enveloped, E, and E, right? Excellent. Now we're going to talk about the what do you call the name of the viruses in a power virus family. You know very well it's a B19, very important that causes aplastic anemia, severe anemia. Okay, especially in school going children or a pregnant lady. I made a different, I made a different video on that. Please go and watch that video. Okay, and in a papillomavirus, we have papilloma and polyoma. Papilloma. And polyoma. Okay, and adenovirus is an adenovirus. You know very well. Herpes. We have HSV, virus zoster, Epstein Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, right? Whereas in pox, it's a variola vaccinia molluscum contagiosum is really very important. Then in hepedna, we have hepatitis B, 
that's a hepatitis B okay right okay this is the only virus of hepatitis that ca that is a d DNA virus remember okay now let's talk about the what you call virion associated polymerase only two bacteria have the virion, virion associated polymerase that's a pox and the hepatna the pox and the hepatna remember okay right excellent so now what do you call DNA replicates there's a replication of the DNA where does it take place in a power virus and up to what you call herpes virus and hepatitis virus excluding excluding pox virus everyone's DNA replicates in a nucleus nucleus okay but except as I said pox virus that replicates in cytoplasm the DNA of the virus replicates in a cytoplasm so from this is clear that most of the DNA viruses replicates in nucleus of the cell right except pox virus that replicates in a cytoplasm okay guys so these are the important features and regarding the individual viruses I'm gonna upload different video on that and for that you have to be patient okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video I'm sure this video is really very helpful for your assembly step on examination thank you so much take care guys